Okay, what's up traders? So today we want to talk about um, a very important topic, which is how do you master your trading psychology? So if you've been trading for a while now, you will know that uh, trading psychology is actually more important than trading strategy. Okay, 80% um, of your success as a trader comes from having uh, the right psychology. Okay, only 20% comes from uh, your strategy. So today we want to give you some practical advice about how to master this aspect of trading. Okay, so we see a lot of new traders, you know, aspiring traders, struggling traders, um, keep focusing on strategies, and that's a very common mistake. Okay, instead, uh, what uh, you should be doing, or what what a, a new trader should be doing, would be to focus your effort on um, mastering the trading psychology first, right? Once you have that nailed down, then move on to the strategy, okay? Once you have a good um, training psychology, any strategy will work for you, okay? But if you do not have a good training psychology, then uh, any strategy will not work for you, okay? So if you are one of those who, you know, have been hopping around from um, system to systems or forex signals, you know, provider to provider, then this video is for you, okay? So the first tip, or rather first strategy that we want to teach you is that uh, your environment is actually stronger than your willpower. Okay, just, just think about it for a moment, okay? How hard is it to lose weight, right? If uh, your house has tons of snacks and uh, you know, soft drinks at your, in your fridge, right? You're trying to lose weight and you open the fridge and then you see that, oh, you know, the, the, the only food I have is um, you know, a, a big packet of potato chips and uh, Coca-Cola, okay? it's probably very hard for you to lose weight in this scenario, okay? Consider the opposite, right? The opposite where your house only has, uh, or rather your fridge, okay? Let me just change this. Your fridge has salad and fruit juice, okay? And you're really hungry. You, you're most likely going to go up the salad and the fruit juice. So this is actually how you lose weight, right? By setting yourself up for success, okay? So... So similarly in trading, you want to set yourself up for success by putting yourself in the right environment, okay? You, you don't want to be trading if, you know, you're on the move, you know, like you are on the subway or in the train and then, you know, it's busy, you know, it's noisy and then you're trying to trade off your phone, okay? That, that's not conducive, okay? Don't trade if you're not prepared, okay? If you had not spent time to analyze the charts, okay? You, you didn't spend a weekend breaking down the charts, you know, you didn't... Um, take out your computer to analyze, to do a detailed uh, top-down analysis, don't trade, okay? And also definitely this one is a big one. Don't trade if you're emotionally upset with your spouse, okay? Whenever you're emotionally upset, you, you, you can't really make good uh, rational decision, okay? So this, in trading, is it's not really, it's not a place for you to be venting your frustrations, emotion, okay? Every single time uh, you do that, or based on our experience, we've done this, we always lose money, okay? It doesn't matter whether, you know, we buy or we sell, we always lose money because our mindset, okay, was not right, okay? Our psychology was not right. So set yourself up for success, okay? So you might ask, okay, so how, how, how do I actually set myself up for success? So we mentioned earlier on that we want to give you practical advice. You don't just want to give you theory. So the, the first thing that we want to talk about would be, have a fixed source of income, okay? Relieve the stress on the need to perform, okay? One of the reasons we see a lot of uh, traders make bad decisions because, um, you know, you, you kind of don't have any other source of income and you just have a $500, you know, um, a, a trading account and, you know, you saw some advertisement online or you saw some YouTube videos that say, oh, you can turn $500 to a $5 million in under two years or some, some bullshit like that, okay? So don't, do not do this because under stress, okay, your trading performance will decrease. And guess what? You are, if you are not already a proficient trader and you try to, um, you, know, you, you, you put on stress on yourself, your trading performance is going to, be, is going to even be worse. So it's even harder for you to win when you actually need to make the money. Okay, so you, you should have a fixed source of income. I mean, it doesn't matter what you do. You can choose to work at a restaurant. You can choose to, you know, give tuition, whatever it is. 
always have a fixed source of income so that um, you don't really have to worry about whether you actually make money because there are months that uh, you may not make money in trading and you need to be okay with that. You need to accept that, oh, this is just part of trading. This is the, you know, this is just how, how, how trading is, okay? So this pointer is so very important. Without a fixed source of income, you will tend to force a trade, right? Because you want to make money, okay? So you, you, you think, oh, you know, I need to make money to pay for my rent, okay? And then you take a trade even though it isn't, um, you know, isn't good trade, but because you want to make the money. Okay, so do not do that. Okay, you need to set yourself up for success by having a fixed source of income. Okay, that's tip one for you. Okay, tip two will be start journaling your trades. Okay, we, we previously we talked a lot about um, the importance of journaling your trades. Okay, uh, maybe in future videos, we will um, break down the process of how to journal your trades. Okay, but for now, just write down your trades. Okay. And at the bare minimum, make sure that you have um, the, the entry, the stop loss, and uh, the actual result, okay? Something like what we send in our Telegram channel, okay? So why is having a journal very important? Because it shifts your focus from making money to executing trades well, okay? So how you can do this actually by um, giving yourself points, okay? So for each trade that complies with your trading rules, give yourself one point, okay? For each trade that doesn't comply with your trading rules, deduct one point, okay? So your goal is to get as much points as possible, not to make as much money as possible, okay? Notice here that we didn't say that, you know, for each trade that uh, wins money, right? Or for each trade that loses money, okay? We are focused on your execution, okay? Your ability to execute in accordance to your trading rules. Right, so, so the question you always ask yourself is, are you executing your trading rules? Okay, are you being consistent in uh, following your training plan? Okay, so your goal, if let's say you take 30 trades a, a, um, a month, right, your goal is to get 30 points. That means that all of these trades have actually complied with your trading rules and you have ex executed it perfectly. Okay, now we just want to remind you that if you take care of your execution, your profits will take care of itself, okay? We see a lot of people try to take care of the profits without taking care of the execution and it doesn't work like that, okay? You need to focus your execution, okay? Be it you use our signals or you use a particular training strategy, it doesn't matter. But what matters is the consistency in execution. And the next tip we have for you, which is also the last tip for today, would be to always keep the big picture in mind. Okay, one trade isn't going to make or break your account. Come on, come on, guys. If you're risking 1% per trade, let's say that trade's a loser, you lose 1%. No big deal. Okay, let's say this trade is a big winner. It makes you 10%. It, it, it doesn't, yes, 10% is pretty good for your account, but it doesn't really make or break your account. Okay, if one trade is breaking your account, then you are probably over trading and then you should stop doing that. Okay, do not over trade. Okay, I know we can say this, a thousand and one times, most of you are still probably going to do that. So please do not do it, okay? You don't have to lose money just like us in order to learn this lesson. Do not over trade, okay? You should be risking between 1% to 3% each trade, okay? Not 10%, not 20%, not 50%, okay? The other um, mini tip or, you know, within this, uh, keeping the big picture in mind, would be to think of the next trade. Don't think of the next trade. Sorry, what we're trying to say is don't think of the next trade or the current trade that um, you're holding. Okay? Think of the next 20 trades. Okay? Think of sample sizes of uh, 20 trades. Ask yourself, if I were to do this 20 times more, um, do I have a positive expectancy? If your answer is yes, right, then this is a strategy that you should be uh, sticking to. Okay? Ask yourself also, if this trade really matters across the number of trades you take in your lifetime, Okay, maybe you, you trade for 10 years, you're probably going to take tens of thousands of trades. Will one trade really matter? Will losing this one trade really matter? I don't think so, right? So, the relief, don't, don't put so much pressure on yourself to perform on every single trade because um, you, trading is actually random. In the short term, it's random. Uh, it's all about probabilities. So, in the long run, you... You, the probabilities will be for you. But in the short run, it's like a random walk theory in a sense that um, 
the results are random. So trying to predict the outcome of each trade is just a waste of time. So no point doing that. Okay, so these are the three tips that we have for you. So just a brief recap. Number one, uh, to have a good trading psychology, we recommend for you to have a fixed source of income so that you do not need to worry about um, performing. Okay, this will also make sure that you do not force trades, okay, that you will not try to make money, right, because you need to pay rent, okay, and also help you, you know, um, not put so much stress on yourself uh, when you're losing money because you can have months which they are losing that, uh, that you end up in a loss, okay? The second pointer would be start journeying your trades, okay? Just start off simple, keep the habit, just have a simple entry, exit and result and did you follow your rules, okay? Always follow your rules, okay? And the last one would be to always keep the big picture in mind, okay? One trade is not going to make or break your account. So don't stop acting like it will, okay? So that's all for today's lesson. If you have a question, comment down below. If you're struggling a particular issue that you'd like us to talk about or to hear our perspective on, please comment down below, right? We read every single comment and uh, it gives us um, some form of feedback about what kind of materials or what type of content will better serve you as a subscriber. So till then, we'll see you in the next video.